after over two hours of setup, I'm Phoenix K. And I'm BC Chaos. That was a little delayed there, Bryce. I'm sorry, I was I was busy. <laughs> okay, whatever. So we're playing Sonic 2. I've never beaten Sonic 2. Very excited to do it now. If I don't, I'm using the level select code. Shut up, no one likes you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not screen sharing. Oh. Oops. I'm about to do that now. Yeah, my internet was having a little problems. It's like, first time it's ever happened. What is that, uh... What's that Skype, uh... That picture you have? Uh, that's my fan character. I actually made a new one. For, oh. uh... For Phoenix, but... I'll probably change it. Oh, alright. That cool. was, like, my third fan character, and he's, like, my main one. It's funny. Oh, oh okay. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I guess we should go back to what we were explaining before. Uh, so Sonic 2, when uh, Sam is turning off Tails for some reason. Fine, do wait a minute, want me, want, me to, want me to restart? No, it's it'll, not. Tail, it'll be Tails the Fox 2. What, if you're not going to do the special stage, then why would you turn off Tails? Just wondering. So, I, because he can get, be a little annoying in this game. I like him in Sonic 3, though. Alright, so I'm going to sum up what we said in the first failed recording. Uh, Tails is basically Sonic's sidekick, depending on what uh, continuity or whatever. Um, continuity. Yeah. I can't pronounce certain words like last time. I said the butt. The butt. Dude, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh my god, Bryce. I can't believe I don't, I can't believe you didn't notice this the first time. <laughs> Anyways, um... Um, yeah, so depending on what you're going on, if you, uh, if you're going by the American version, then Sonic found Tails, or Tails was just following Sonic, because Sonic was adventuring through the island, and then if you're going through the Japanese story, then, um, wait, I think that's the opposite. Well, anyways, one is that Tails was, was following Sonic, and they became friends, and then the other is that Sonic raised Tails as he was a baby and yeah and somehow he became his sidekick and sam is already at the boss and, Fe like and phoenix's story is that tails was one of the captured um captured um he was taken from west side island which is where we are now to south island as one of the like animal friends that was captured and he met up with sonic who saved him saying hey a a uh, dr eggman's terrorizing um terrorizing um west side um west side island so or west cool. island excuse me so and that's how and so they team up and they're like all right cool stuff let's go have you heard of the uh the fan game some guy made uh sonic before the sequel no uh it's basically what happens after cd but takes place uh before two uh eggman is in the process of building his death egg and Sonic is going to stop it, but Tails, who is admiring him, also wants to stop it. But, uh, like, Sonic doesn't know yet that Tails is following him. And you go through, like, two different versions of the same stage, but with, like, edits and stuff and cool little gimmicks that go with each character. It's yeah. a pretty it's a pretty good band game. I mean, I, I think it's way better than Sonic 2. Wait, it, it's 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 better than Sonic 2 the game. Yeah. Oh. It, wow. It it's what Sonic 4 should have been. You know, Sonic 4, I like it. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. Yeah, I like it, but I mean, like a lot of fans were depending on like sprites and stuff. And we all know we have to go with the majority, so I should hate it too. <laughs> <laughs> um. But uh, phones ringing. I don't care. I think I was off. I probably was. I don't care. You're really off, but yeah. So this <laughs> game introduced the supersonic spin dash, which you just hold down and then hold the A button, and that's just I am. Oh. Uh, I was watching some, or I was listening. Not listening, reading something on like the internet, and somebody made like a Sonic like fan fiction where like uh, like um, all these um, 
all these fans were like asking Sonic questions, and they were like, "How did you learn to roll? Or how did you learn to spin dash?" And they're like, "Well, I just uh, used my momentum and then did a somersault, and then I did the spin dash." And I'm like, "Wait, that makes no sense." Because you're s you're you're saying still when you do it. Yeah, I know. Well, yes, yes, you're saying still when you do it. <laughs> That's how you learn to roll, Sonic. Did he do a barrel roll? Dude, he's like, well, I started running and I used my momentum to do a barrel roll! <laughs> we got speed boosters in this level. I think the only uh, game that barrel rolls would work for Sonic is Sonic CD in the special stages. I don't know why, but I think barrel rolls would work there. So I mean, out of the, all the classic games, Sonic 3, like, if you count Sonic... Three and Sonic and Knuckles separately. Sonic 3 is my favorite, if not Sonic 3 and Knuckles is my favorite. Then followed by Sonic 2, then I know Sonic 1, then Sonic CD, then Sonic 2. Sonic 2 is just my least favorite. I like Sonic 1 as my least favorite. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the spin dash. Oh my god, you you I, I will stick to my reasons why you are a speed whore. <laughs> I have a troll face right now. Oh my like, god, of the speed dash troll face. Did you just die? I no, I fell back down like I did in the first time I did it. Fool me once, shame on you! <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me thrice. Fool me three times, I jump off a cliff and die. Have <laughs> you seen Night of the Museum where they're like, fool me three times? Well, I don't know what comes after three. And I was like, okay. You kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I once made a Sonic fan fiction. Really? No. <laughs> I made a Sonic so, fan character story though. Some are really good, but like mine was cheesy and stupid. Some are really good. But you, you you'll have to some are really good, but you'll have to know your your Sonic mythology and all that. Well, it was about my fan characters and totally separate. Besides the fact that they're hedgehogs, it's totally original. Oh, like Sonic didn't do Sonic didn't have a role in that at all? Sonic's not even in there, neither is Tails. Uh -huh. uh, the games are in there, like Sonic 1, like the game is in there. Uh -huh. Like they play it, but I mean that's it. Uh -huh. with Pokemon, the Devil's Arithmetic, which is the worst the the worst World War II book you will ever read in your life. Why? What's <laughs> what's it about? It's it's stupid. I don't even want to go into it. How stupid it is. I read A War Torn Sky or something in 8th grade. I should have read that in 8th grade. That book was good. And Why did I read Devil's Arithmetic? I thought it would be awesome because math is awesome. It and was for a project. Yeah, I know. We had to do a project too. I'm like, well, math is pretty awesome. Wait, so wait, 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 that statement is false. You think it's false? I don't. And we all know that my opinion, it's the only my opinion that matters. False. <laughs> It's Grounder! And I totally just killed Grounder. <laughs> <laughs> it's kinda creepy how he just burst out the wall. Yeah, I know, I hate him. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, what were you gonna say? Yeah, Devil's Worth the Tick is really stupid. It's about this girl who's like at like her Jewish like little get together and And she's like freaking going to the like she like I think she like either falls asleep or she's like gets unconscious and she wakes up back and like during World War II time, and she's taken to like a prison. Oh! What? What's that wrong? Almost, that thing almost crushed me. She's taken to like a prison camp, one of those yeah. Nazi camps, and like it's stupid. That's not stupid. It's really boring, dude. I better get a bubble. Whoa! Out of the way. Hold on just a second, kind sir. So there we go. Uh, there we are. Devil's worth the ticket's stupid. Just, just case closed. It's really bad. It's really bad. Don't you dare read it. All right. I um, for uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about this in uh, Sonic or not Sonic Six, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. But I got sidetracked. I'm sorry. Can I, can I say something really quick about uh, my fan character story and the Devil's worth the ticket? How they're related. Sure. There's one part where, like, uh, I believe I don't remember which character. Um, like, like I think it was his girlfriend was about to read it. And he like him slaps it out of his hand, and she's like, "Why'd you do that?" I'm like, "He's like, I saved your life." Wait, what? 
I'm talking about how, like, in my fan character story, I reference how bad that book is because one of the, <laughs> one of the guys slaps it out of his girlfriend's hand. He's like, I saved your life. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the, you actually get that, that fan uh, story published, and then, like, ten years later, the author of Devil's Arithmetic comes after you. I don't really like, this, even care. This is discrimination. She's too stupid. If she writes that, I mean... Oh, do you know what I hate about, uh... Um, Aquatic Ruin Zone the most? That's that! I'm standing here! Okay, good. Cool. He can't hit me. That was a test, guys. I'm not joking. In Aquatic Ruin Zone, uh... Uh, when you're going through a loop and an arrow is shot at the same time, you can get hit by the... And you can get hit by the arrow while you're going through a loop. And if you have no rings, you will die instantly. And I hate it. Hello? Yeah, sorry, I was just focusing. This Don't... boss isn't this boss isn't that hard. I'm gonna have to focus during the final boss, might as well speed it up and play. <laughs> oh my god. It's not that hard. You get you just gotta manage your time. I probably should have looked up how to do that boss fight before I started this. That probably would have been mo of most wise. Hey, Bryce, can you do me a favor? Can you look at the level select code? Sure. You got me addicted to Wave Ocean. I'm, I'm listening to it now, for real. Dude, I love Wave Ocean. Now we're at Casino Night Zone, where we had to end it off last time. <laughs> Wasn't a big deal. Was... We're actually doing even better on time. Yeah, I know we are. Because, you know, I still got that 15 minute time. Oh, might as well talk. Oh, yeah. So you wanted to mention something in Sonic 1, but wasn't able to because someone interrupted you? Uh, oh, yeah. Sonic 1, I wanted to talk about um, the DLC. Uh, but I got sidetracked because of my Sonic comic rant. I wonder if they're, I wonder if they're going to pull a game freak on us because I was going to think they're going to just use different levels. But they're, but they're going to be like, nope, and just make different levels of the zones they already have, like Crisis City. That would be horrible. Um, but, uh, what I was g going to say about the DLC, my personal choice, if they had to pick, like... Well, who knows they're gonna do it? Who knows they're gonna just pick random stages? Who knows? They might do if, that idea. If they had to pick three from each, uh... Three from each... Who said they're picking three from each? If three from each era... Just let me finish! <laughs> if they had to pick three levels from each era, I would want, uh, Starlight, um... Starlight Zone from Sonic 1, um, Chem- er, not Chemical Plant, uh, Hilltop, Hilltop, Hilltop. Not, no, not Hilltop. Hill- they would have to make Hilltop balls off the walls, uh, cause it's so bland. Uh, not Metropolis, cause they already have, like, a fact- they already have Chemical Plant, so- Mad Gear 2. I'm sick of cities, no more cities! Um, so what would be the best for Sonic 2? Hilltop! Uh, I guess so. I love Hilltop Zone. I can't believe how can you not like Hilltop Zone. It's Hill fantastic. I guess so. Hilltop. Then in, um, in, for Sonic 3, I would either want Launch Base Zone or, um, or Ice, definitely Ice Cap. Ice Cap. Because I wanted Ice Cap in there, but then they said that they were only going to do Sky Sanctuary, and that made me mad. Wanna hear, uh, wanna hear, can I say what I want for the classic era? Yeah. Okay, for Sonic 1, I want Labyrinth Zone. Um, for Sonic 2, I'm gonna go agree with you on Hilltop. And for Sonic 3, I want Sandopolis. Why Sandopolis? I like Wait. Sandopolis. Uh, I want them to bring the ghost back, and I want you to be able to kill the ghost so you can, so you can say Sonic is an official Ghostbuster. I never really liked those gimmicks. I didn't like the stage. What is the point of those? Wait a minute. What is the point of those um, row of bonus things up there? Do you do you see that? Yeah. Like there's like a row of bonus things up there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's like in my spoof. I'm gonna sp one day. I'm gonna do an animation spoof of To Kill a Mockingbird with like awesome drawings of stick figures of <laughs> Scout, Gem, and Atticus and whatnot. And um, it, in my spoof, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, look, it's Boo Radley," and it's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like a Mario, like Boo, like like having like the turn away face, like <laughs> you're looking at them. Um, for uh, for for the yeah, 
for the Dreamcast era, uh, I would probably want um, Sky Deck, even though I don't like that stage. I would like to. I love Sky Deck. I I really don't like that stage. My favorite but, level at also Sonic. Huh. But I I would like it done though, th just to see what like how they incorporate that with like the unleashed format. Uh, but um, I would like to see Sky Deck, and then for for um, Sonic I Sonic Adventure Two, I have no idea. You say Pumpkin Hill, but that's a Knuckles. Stage, yeah, so. I would love Pumpkin Hill, but no. I doubt it'll be picked. So. Yeah, no, I mean, I would love Pumpkin Hill, but it's not a Sonic stage, so I get that. I like Pyramid Cave, though. Is that a Sonic stage? Yeah, but they'll probably pick. They'll probably end up going with Metal Harbor, though. Oh, yes. Everybody, like, that's... That, that, that's an overrated stage. I mean, it's fun, but so overrated. I want Metal Harbor to be in there. But dude, yeah. it's so overrated. I like Metal Harbor. That's the only stage I play in Sonic uh, Adventure 2. I remember playing that at my cousin's house when I was like five. How could you not have played? Ah, uh, how could you not have played um City Escape? I don't know. I think he just. Around, uh... Yeah, I mean, come on. Like the stages they picked for Generations were very meh. I mean, some of them are good, but some of them you're just like, oh come on, can't you pick something different? Like what? What would you have picked? Well, let's see. Well, Green Hill's been done so many times. I mean, if, I if, if they didn't have Green Hill, Sam, then you wouldn't have bought the game. Admit it. A admit it. They, if, if you had to bring back any one from Sonic One, everybody's choice would be Green Hill. Well, it only had six zones. Okay, still everybody's choice would be Green Hill. That means the game just sucks. Like it goes Green Hill and then it goes all down from there. Which is that, that, that's what the uh, 3DS version did, basically. You know, with the, the DS version, they really had a big opportunity to bring back the Game Gear. You know, they could have like eat like an era of the green, the game, the Green Gear, the Game Gear era. Then they would have the Advanced era, and then the Rush.